Building a website with WordPress has never been easier, but what happens when your branding changes in the future? Now, if you have a one-page website, it should not be a problem. But what if your website has a few dozens of pages or even a few hundreds? In this case, changing and maintaining the design styles on your website could take you a very, very long time. Well, in this video, I will show you how to solve this problem once and for all. So if you want to save time and future-proof your website, make sure you watch this video until the end. Hello, I'm Kay from the Spectra team, and in this video, I will show you how I went from the branding on this website to the branding on this website and how I can easily change styles, for example, image corners from square to rounded, or for example, how I can specifically change the H2 titles on my menu page. But just for that page alone, while the other H2 titles on my website remain the same. And I will show you how to do that in just a few clicks. Now, the tool we'll be using today is not free, but before you click off that video, let me tell you that the time is gonna save you to create a scalable and maintainable WordPress website makes its price ridiculously low compared to the value it provides. Next, why you need global styling. And actually, I should say why you need global styling if you wanna create a scalable and maintainable WordPress website. So let me give you an example. Unless you've been living on another planet, you probably know this website, Amazon. Now, granted, it's not the best in terms of beautiful design, but this is not the point. The point is there are so many pages on this website. Just imagine if Amazon wanted to change their styling, like the fonts, uh, some of the colors, the style of the images. Do you really think they would open each and every of the hundreds of thousands of or millions of pages that they have? I mean, it would take until the end of time. Instead, the idea is to define global styles and then you can apply those styles easily by just changing one line of code and in our case with just clicking on one item because we're not going to use code in this video it's going to be super easy and by using this approach that's how you can build scalable and maintainable wordpress websites because whether you have a one page website or 1000 pages website it's going to be super easy and exactly the same to change the styles. So as we saw, ignoring global styling is very risky for the lifetime of your website. Now some WordPress themes partially solve this and Astra, the most popular theme of all times, is one of these. For example, I generated this website with ZipWP in just a few seconds and the website is a WordPress website of course using the Astra theme and the Spectral Visual Builder. Now if I click on customize right here, I then have access to a set of global options. And if you're using Astro Pro, you get even more granular control. But now let's check here in the free version. Let's go to global. And as you can see, there's this set of options. We can change the typography, colors, containers, buttons, scroll to top, accessibility, block editor, and we got some miscellaneous options. So for example, let's say that the company Stormbox went through a rebranding. Well, the first step would be to change the identity and with Astra, I would just hover over the logo here and just change the logo. Click on upload file, select files, select my new logo, click on select, skip cropping. Awesome. Next, I need to change my global colors. So let me go back, global, colors, and I would use the new colors of the rebranding. And by the way, if you're interested in crafting a logo for free and getting a super stylish brand guide as you see here on screen, make sure you take a look at this video tutorial once you're done with this video. So once I've implemented the new colors, all I need to do is to change the different theme colors like the accent, the links, the headings, and so on. And then the final touch here will be to change the content background. So let me select my main color and it's already a drastic change. Next. Let's say that the rebranding is done with square corners, so I would actually go and change some elements like the call to action here in the navigation. I would go to design, then border radius, and change things accordingly. And actually, we can go back, go to global, buttons, and make it side wide. And now if I scroll down, as you can see, our button has changed accordingly. Now, let me go back up. And let's actually take care of the header, go to design, and let's change the background color so that it matches our new branding. And we can actually do the same thing here for the footer. Design, and let's change it to our main color. And let's not forget to change the color of the text. 
awesome. Let's scroll back up and it's starting to take shape. So at this point, you may be wondering if you can do this globally, well, why do you need another global solution? Well, let me explain. Let's say that on our menu page, for example. So let me save my work and click on publish. Now let's go to the menu page. Oh, and before we move further, I can see that the text is not visible here. So let's quickly fix this. Let me click on edit, design. Let me scroll down and let's change the colors accordingly. And let's publish again. So back to our menu page. Now in our new branding, we have a set of fonts, but let's say that on the menu page, we want those titles, which are the H2. So this is the H1 and then the small one is the H2. Let's say that we want the H2s specifically on the menu page to have a different font. So we cannot do that here in the theme because in the theme, if we go back, then global typography, as you can see, I can define the H2 font. So I have a set of rules here that I can define, but that would affect all the H2 titles on the website. Whereas what we want is that only the H2 titles from the menu would be affected. Now let's imagine that the menu is actually in several places on the website. Every time the menu appears, we want those H2 titles to have a different font. Now that was just one example, but as you may know, we are now in the no code era in the visual website builders. And if you're building your website with WordPress blogs, then you probably heard about Spectra and Spectra Pro. And basically with Spectra, it's a drag and drop no code editor and you can really play around with the layout. You have a lot of widgets, you have a lot of flexibility. Well, as I mentioned, the theme is partially solving the global styling issue, but they cannot address each and every widget that Spectra uses. So for example, let's say that you want to change the square corners of the images, you want rounded corners, or for another type of widget, you also want rounded corners. Well, you cannot address this with Astra for that specific widget. And that brings us to the solution. And the solution is a new feature of Spectra Pro called Global Block Styles. And Global Block Styles is super simple to use. So let me show you. For example, let me scroll down here and let's select this heading. Well, all I need to do is, as usual, go to the Style tab. I can style it the way I want. And then I click on the Advanced Sub tab. And here I have a new control called Global Block Styles. So the first step would be to create a new style. So click on Add New and you can give it a name. But actually, I've already done it for this one, this H2. So here in advance, as you can see, I already created the style and I called it H2 Alternate V1. Now, before we move on, let me make a pause here and make a suggestion. And the suggestion is that you name all your global styles according to a pattern. Now, the pattern can be any pattern you want, but here is one suggestion. It could be name of the element. So by element, I mean it could be a widget, a container, then followed by a description and then followed by the version because you may have several versions across the lifetime of your website. And then you could even add a detail of the description. So you can have the main description in one word and then you can have more detail after the version. Okay, let's go back to what we were doing. And as you can see here, we have different options. First of all, we can manage styles. So here you can either delete a style or edit its name if you click on the pencil icon and then you can click on update or cancel. You can also delete all of your global block styles, even though I don't really suggest you do that. And if we close this, as you can see, we have more options. First of all, we can change the style. So if you have various styles, you can switch between those styles. Next, you can unlink the style. And that's, for example, if you want to make additional changes to that specific title and you don't want it to link to a global style, you can just unlink it. Next, you can update the style. So how would that work? You will go back to style, make some changes, then come back to advanced and click on update style. And talking about that, there are a few things I need to mention. At the time of recording this video, when you actually create a global block style, it clears out the local style. So for example, here I got my H2 selected. If I go back into typography, it's all cleared. I don't see what was locally there before it became a global block style. But if I make some changes and go back to advanced, I can still update style and it's going to work perfectly. Now, when you update the style, don't forget, this is just going to update the style. If you made some changes on the page, also don't forget to click on update for the page. And the next thing I want to mention is that when you create a style, it's only about the style tab for the main part, because for the heading, it's a bit different. 
but mainly it's just about what's here in the style controls not in general not in advance now like i said it's very specific for the heading so here with my heading selected actually is going to take into account the alignment and also the heading tag so if you save this for an h2 for the changes to be reflected when you link this global block style to another title well that title also needs to be an h2 so these are the things to keep in mind at the time this video was recorded next how to implement global block styles so i've just shown you how it works but let's do it from scratch so let me scroll down and let me select for example this h2 so first of all i'm going to go to style typography and i'm going to select a new font i'm going to select pop-ins and for the weight let me select 700. now i can also change the color so let me change the color here and let's pick another color in our color palette and now if i click on the advanced tab all i need to do is click on add new let's give it an easily identifiable name following the pattern that i previously discussed and click on save now while we're at it let's take care of our image and let's create a global style so let me select my image then go to style and where it says radius i want to change it to 10. so now as you can see let me zoom in you can see we have a rounded corner let me select another element so you can see it here but now we have rounded corners so let me zoom back out now let me select my image one more time then go to advanced and let's create a new global block style let's call it image rounded v1 and click on save and now if i click in the global block styles drop down even though we have two global block styles it only shows the one applicable to this type of element in this case an image all right so let me update my page and now if we go to our menu page click on edit page well first of all i can select this image go to advanced and in the drop down let me select image rounded but before i do it let's make sure so as you can see here this has rounded corners right so let me select it again and this time let me select image rounded v1 which is a block style we've just created and now let me zoom in as you can see the global block style has been affected okay so let's repeat the operation so let's do it for this image advanced image rounded v1 I'm going to speed this up and do this for all the images. Now let's scroll back up and as you can see now all of our images have rounded corner. Now let's take care of our H2 titles. So this is the H1 but from here we have an H2. All we need to do to be sure is just click on it and as you can see here in the general panel it says it's an H2. So let's do the same thing let's go to advanced and then in the drop down of the global block style let's select the block style that we just created and let's repeat the operation for all of our h2 titles and actually there were only two but if i scroll back up i can see these here are h3s if i go to general these are indeed h3s so if i go to advanced and then try to apply the h2 alternate v1 as you can see it doesn't work and that's because as i mentioned before you need to have the same h tag so now let's go to general and let's change it to h2 and as you can see now the changes are reflected so let me do the same thing for the other one so i'm just going to change it to h2 this time go to advanced and then change it in the global block style drop down to our global block style and there you go working as intended now you're starting to get the id but where the real magic happens is here let me show you so let me scroll down let me select this image let me go to style and now i'm going to change the radius to 300. so let's go to advanced and as you can see it's linked to our image rounded v1 global block style so all i need to do now is click on update style and as you can see the other images are automatically changed now let's select our h2 title here this one let's go to style typography and let's change it to another font so let's select this font and once again let's go to advanced update style and let's save our work and if we go back to the front end of our website and bear in mind this is the menu page before i refresh so i just made the changes on the home page with the global styles 
and now we are on the previous version of the menu page. And now I'm going to refresh and take a look at what happens. Actually, let me scroll down to where we see also an H2. So I'm just going to hit refresh. And as you can see, all the changes are reflected. The border radius for our image and the new font. So that's where the magic happens because as I scroll down, as you can see, all these styles have been changed. Now just imagine if you have 500 pages on your website, the amount of time you're going to save. And that's why at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that even though the tool is not free, the amount of time you're going to save is really going to make the price ridiculous. And in case you have a change of heart, you can always go back, select your title, go to style and change it to what it was. In this case, it was Poppins. Then don't forget to go to advanced and update the style. Next, same thing for the image. Let's go back, go to style, change the radius to 10 all around and go to advanced, update style. And as always, don't forget to update the content of your page. And now if we go back to our menu page, let's hit refresh and there you go. It's back to normal. So as you can see, it's pretty powerful when you combine Astra or Astra Pro with Spectra Pro's global block styling capabilities. Because when implemented correctly, in just a few clicks, you can change the overall style of a few hundred pages websites, even a few thousand pages websites, you name it. So there you have it. You are now equipped with the knowledge to create scalable and maintainable WordPress website with Spectra Pro's global block styles. So why not give it a shot? is going to future-proof your website and give you peace of mind. So of course, you'll find a link in the description of this video.